What's up everybody, this is Jose from Southern Life. On today's video, we're going to be talking about the top 10 best places to live in the state of Arkansas. My wife and I have extensively traveled this beautiful state, and we're going to give you a recommendation of 10 places that we think are worth moving to. Keep in mind, this is nothing more than my personal opinion based on my travels through this state. So if you're thinking about moving to the A state, this would be a great place to start. The natural state is known for the Ozarks and some of the most beautiful natural settings that you'll find in the United States. It's centrally located towards the center of the country and allows you the opportunity to be in different regions in the country within a short drive. So if you're thinking about Arkansas, this video will give you a good idea of 10 places you may want to look into. And if there's a great place in Arkansas that's not on the list, feel free to comment. Number one is Bentonville, and the surrounding area is definitely the best place to be in the state of Arkansas. As you guys know, Walmart is one of the largest corporations in the entire world, and Walmart has made the NWA, that's Northwest Arkansas, one of the most attractive regions in this part of the country. The area is home to lots of diversity and events, a lot of opportunity here that you're not going to find anywhere else in the state. And while I'm personally not a fan of what Walmart has done to many small towns throughout the whole country, at least in this part of Arkansas, you can see the benefits of this large corporation. It's a beautiful town with great restaurants and specialty food that you're not going to find in this region of the country. The likes of these restaurants are not usually found in a state like Arkansas. Definitely the best place. Number two is Rogers, which is not too far from Bentonville. Another place that is packed with events and opportunities from the same source of income, the large corporation of Walmart. The town has beautiful town centers that are always having different events and activities for the community, as well as a large diversity that is not typical for the state of Arkansas. With everything a town its size should have, plus more, it's charming, it's close to natural settings, lots of opportunities, and again, a collection of Latin and Hispanic businesses that is not typical for this region of the country, making it a very interesting place to live if you like to get out and try different things. I really enjoyed this part of Arkansas and it felt like a place you could really move to coming from a larger city since despite the fact these are small towns, they're growing, they're sprawling suburban areas, it deserves to be at the top of your list. Moving on to number 3, Lake Hamilton is a nice suburban area right outside of Hot Springs, one of the state's largest tourist destinations. This area is known for beautiful lakes rolling hills, some of the most beautiful green forest in the entire south. It offers you the ability to live right outside of a hot tourist area and still have those quiet suburban settings you would want. This is really one of the dream destinations and while Lake Hamilton is a small place, it will give you all of the comforts and brands that you will be used to in a larger city. The natural settings is a huge part of why you would want to end up in Arkansas and when you combine those natural settings with the comforts of brands that you would want as well as a few restaurants that are really well, it's just a little bit above average for what you would expect in a state like Arkansas. It's a top destination. Moving on to number four, Fayetteville, Arkansas is number one for a lot of other people. But I consider the other parts of Northwest Arkansas to be a lot better. If you want a real quiet lifestyle, then this is definitely the place you would want to be. Despite there being a lot of schools and a lot of things going on, making it somewhat of a hip place to live, it is still really quiet, calm, and tranquil. I personally found the country area just to the east of Fayetteville to be absolutely charming and beautiful. And just like the other parts of the NWA, you'll also see traces of wealth here, which are not common for the state of Arkansas. The city has beautiful plants and structures and a very calm and relaxing speed of life. 
The natural settings are so lush in the city that it's hard to tell where the wilderness starts and where the city begins. Number 6 is Hot Springs, Arkansas. If you want to move to Arkansas but you're coming from a fun touristy place and you just got to have that daily action people out and about and those strong vibes then this is definitely a place you should consider it's almost like a miniature miami surrounded by the mountains of arkansas this is definitely a tourist town and you're gonna see things like motorcycle clubs and young people partying so the speed of life here is very fast if you're coming from a big city like miami or philadelphia and you're used to seeing people outside action and activity then arkansas could be a good place for you if you stick to a place like hot springs that has that speed of life most of arkansas is sleepy quiet and serenity but in hot springs you're gonna find so much tourist activity that it's gonna feel like a much bigger place than what it actually is could be right for you moving on to number seven the town of benton is just to the south of little rock while it's not exactly a suburb of little rock it is definitely one of the better preserved cities in the state of arkansas Within a reasonable commute to the state's largest population center, you're going to find that the town has beautiful murals, historic buildings, charming residential neighborhoods, and just about everything you need within a reasonable drive. It's definitely one of the best suburban places to live in the state, and despite it being its own little town, Again, it's so close to Little Rock that if you need to be in a bigger place, you can definitely do it without having to deal with the crime and all the other things that plague a bigger city. The city has so much to explore and enjoy a calm, serene setting. And of course, there's also beautiful newer homes in a suburban setting. Definitely deserves to be on the list. Moving on to number 8, Salem Springs is a town that's right outside of the Arkansas-Oklahoma border. With a large Hispanic population, this is going to be one of the small country towns that are on this list. And while it's not as fancy and pretty as some of the other towns that we've chosen, it's definitely a small southern country town with a large Hispanic population. This is a place for hardworking people who are content with family and the simpler things in life. You'll find some of the most authentic Mexican food this region of the country will offer as well as the ability to be in larger places since you're right outside of the NWA metropolitan area the town is charming small and has just about all the basic things you need by its unassuming appearance it has been found on many online lists and I do agree that my time there was enjoyable it's not fancy but it's a decent place moving on to number nine Huntsville, Arkansas. The last two towns on my list are being granted some type of amnesty on my part since I'm not really a fan of small rural towns that are hostile to outsiders and the fact that the first eight towns we talked about in my opinion are far superior but number nine and number ten are two places that despite being rural and country and really looking a little bit just out of the way I still believe they can make it on this list. Now these places you're going to be a little bit more apprehensive about especially if you've never lived in the south but if you're not afraid to take a chance there's a lot of potential in this beautiful town it's surrounded by some of the most beautiful countryside in the entire state and there's historic buildings here there are small businesses that are thriving and they're making their own branding unique so if you're coming with a good flavor and a good attitude there may be abundant opportunity or a diamond in the rough here Number 10 is Hardy, Arkansas, another town that I'm granting amnesty to by putting them on this top 10 list. What impressed me about this unassuming rural town was simply how good their food was and how friendly the locals appeared to be. The Deep South is probably not everybody's cup of tea and this town definitely has Deep South written all over it but if you're looking for a small rural town and you know how to play by the rules of the Deep South you'll love this place. There's so much potential here. There's so much effort on the part of the people to be friendly. It's really a great little town and driving through here as a tourist it was beautiful to see see all of the buildings in culture incredible barbecue some of the best barbecue I've ever had 
this is definitely a place that has potential. So if you're looking for a diamond in the rough, this town is a place to look into. And there it is. Those are the top 10 best places to live in Arkansas based on my opinion, based on my travels. Could I go back to Arkansas in the future and discover more amazing places? Absolutely. But as a preliminary list, this is a great place to get started if you're exploring this state to see 10 places that are actually worth checking out. If you're an adventurous person and you're moving from far away to Arkansas, I did the same thing you're about to do when I moved from Florida to the state of Alabama. Perhaps you're fantasizing about rural lifestyles mountains instead of traffic, and trees instead of buildings. And you're definitely going to find that in the state of Arkansas, but you're also going to find that there's a reason why it's more affordable than other states. And that for many people, the grass really isn't greener on the other side. So if you've moved to Arkansas from another state recently or many years ago, I would love to hear your personal experience on how the natural state has treated you. I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions about Arkansas. So please, before you leave the video, make sure you hit the like and share with me what you thought about this particular video. The quality of the audio, the video editing, the cities that I picked, or anything that you would love for me to do in the future as we're constantly trying to give you guys the best content possible. I hope you enjoyed this video and I love to hear back from you guys. You know, I enjoy making the videos, editing the videos, but the number one thing that I love about what I do is looking through the comments and seeing what other people think about the video, the content, and the subject at hand. And while you might be anxious to watch the video and see the content, I'm anxious to see the feedback from you. I'm going to give you guys a pass on this video. Get in the comments section and let me know how you feel. We're recording with a new microphone and a new setup. I'm really curious to see if you guys can tell the difference. Is it better? Is it worse? Or maybe you can't tell the difference.